Hi, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Batliner, and I'm here today with our story called Beneath, and Beneath is going up against our story Once Upon a Time. Our author today is Corey Dorfeld, and if you look below her name, you will see that it is a she is a New York Times best-selling creator. So that means that the stories that she writes are super, super, super good because she is a best-selling creator. Um, the, the theme today, we, we kind of have a theme with this book, and it is everything and everyone is more than what you see. So I want you to kind of think about that as you are going through listening to this. Everything and everyone is more than what you see. So she is dedicating this book for my dad. Finn was in a horrible mood. Grandpa wanted to talk about it. Finn did not. No, you won't understand. So think about that when you've been in a bad mood and someone wants to talk about it, like an older person, uh, maybe a grandparent, aunt, uncle, you're like, ah, you won't understand how I'm feeling. What if we just go for a walk? Grandpa asked, please. Finn let out a long sigh. Ah, fine, but I'm staying under here. Don't worry, said Grandpa. I'll remember to think of, of what's beneath. Grandpa headed for the forest. It's just like when I look at the trees and I remember there are parts I can't see. So think about that when you look at trees. Are there parts of a tree that you can't see, like maybe way, way, way up high? I think so. Because beneath what's growing up above is what's growing deep below. So look at all that stuff that is under the ground that we cannot see. What do you notice about Finn's blanket? Yeah, now I can see his face. I could not see his face before. Or there, Grandpa pointed. See the boat just sitting out on the water? Finn shrugged. Sometimes beneath what looks perfectly still, so much can be swirling around. So look at all that fish, those fish under the water. If I'm just looking at the top of the water, can I see all the stuff that's underneath? I can't, can I? So there's a lot of stuff beneath that we cannot see. Trying to guess what's beneath can be easy. Grandpa whispered, I think she's going to be a mom. So if you see a bird on, an, on a nest, can you kind of guess that she's probably sitting on eggs? Yeah, that's a pretty good guess. That's a pretty easy guess. Other times, what's beneath is a mystery. I'm not sure what it's digging for. Look at all of those things under the soil. I would have had no idea that the mole or the frog or the chipmunk, look at all those things that are under the soil that we never see. Beneath something solid can be something hollow. Beneath what's falling apart can be what's just starting to form. So as you see those uh, seeds fall to the ground, look, it can just be starting the new plants. Beneath what's happening on the outside is what's happening on the inside of plants and animals and people, Finn wanted to know. 
So what's happening on the outside, there's a lot of stuff happening on the inside too. Of course, Grandpa answered, everyone is more than what you see. Beneath appearances are experiences. Beneath actions are explanations. Beneath what's different is what's the same. So if you look at the lady with the dog, all right, so beneath the appearances, there are experiences. So if you look at the medal, she experienced some award that she won, maybe with her dog. All right, beneath action. So if you look at that little person crying and you can see their stomach. Okay, an explanation is they are probably, take a look at the, the adult that's up there. Yeah, that person's probably hungry. And beneath what's different. So if you look at the lower per picture, one person is walking, one person is in a wheelchair. So they're, they're different there. But if you look, they both like music. So we don't always know what's beneath. And sometimes grandpa paused. Beneath someone who looks like they won't understand is someone who knows exactly how you feel. So look at Finn. Look at Finn's heart. Finn's heart is and broken, and Grandpa's heart is also broken. So when Finn said he wouldn't understand, he does because he's had a broken heart before. Grandpa turned toward home. Finn wanted to keep walking. Please? And what do you notice about Finn? Do you think he's feeling better? Yeah, I think so. Look, he's taking the blanket off and giving it to Grandpa. Together, they climbed to the top of the hill. Wow, said Grandpa. Just look at all those stars. Finn looked up at the sky and smiled. Don't worry. I'll remember to think of what's beneath. So if you take a look at their picture there, what's beneath all the stars? Yeah. He and Grandpa. So this was kind of a short story, but it had a lot of meaning to it because I think a big lesson is, you know, we can't always tell what someone's feeling or thinking on the outside. We have to look beneath them. So I hope you enjoyed this story and I will see you the next time for our next set of books.